Hello, thank you for joining us. Today I am with Kevin Mayhew author, Matt McClary. Matt, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. And we are here to discuss your brand new book, The Prison Letters. Yeah, really exciting. Yeah, we're all very excited too. It's really, really interesting concept. Could you give us just a little, you know, a couple of sentences, if you can, on what the book's about? So the book is about um, Paul's letters that he wrote while he was in prison in Rome. And it's a 40 day um, devotional that can be used by individuals or groups. Um, and you can use it over Lent or any time of year um, to sort of really dig down into some of the main themes that Paul was dealing with across the, the four prison letters. Perfect. So at, I guess if you were using it at home, you could just do it sort of as a daily thing. But if you were using it in a group, it sections down into things you could do weekly. Yeah, so um, the way that it's set out is it's a day by day devotional. So there's a Bible reading, there's sort of a personal anecdote along with what Paul was, was trying to say um, and a prayer for each day. Um, and then those are broken into the different weeks that, that span the course of Lent. Yeah. Um, and then the, the idea is so you can use it personally like that. Or if you're doing a group study, you can still read it on your own day by day and then come together with the group and there's some discussion questions as well. There's also some other Bible verses for wider reading around the topics covered in each week. Um, and there's also a reading plan as well um, so that you get to read the whole of the prison letters yes. across the, the seven weeks. Amazing. And I know you've done some videos as well. So there's sort of a little video accompaniment, uh, especially for groups. And they can watch that sort of before they start their discussion. Is that how you've sort of aimed it? Yeah. So the idea behind that is um, I've just done a little video introduction to each of the seven themes for the seven weeks, which you can. It's up to you if you use them or not, but they might be helpful um, if a group is studying it. They can watch a little video introduction, reminding them of some of the things, things they've yeah. read about that the previous week. Um, and then that can sort of lead into the discussion. You can use the questions in the book, or I think you can even download them um, as well from Kevin Maggie. Website. You can indeed. <laughs> what led you to write a book about the letters? Is it always something you've been interested in? Um, a few years ago, um, one of the leaders of our church, um, he was responsible for organising the preaching rota. Um, and we have several of us that, that preach, so we get together in a preaching club. And, and Amazing. <laughs> discuss and decide what we're going to do and sort of uh, then talk about key themes and how to preach better and all yeah. that kind of thing. Um, and he um, took us through, took the whole church through the book of Philippians. So actually this started off as being like a, a daily devotional for Philippians. For yeah. And then it was by chance that, that I kind of but more research going into just doing a, a devotional on the book of Philippians that, oh, actually, it's part of, it was a letter written in prison. Yes, I knew that. Yeah. But, oh, there are these other letters, letters that he also wrote while he was in prison. And then the sort of the concept grew from that. And then rather doing a sort of a blow by blow, verse by verse study, which, I mean, would have taken a lot longer than yes, one book. Yes, would have been quite a thick. Very long, <laughs> <laughs> very in depth. Um, so, so it's become more dealing with key themes that run through the four books, um, which, which tie them together. So yeah, it's, it's become the prison letters that we, we have today. Yeah. And I know, I mean, I've heard you talking about them a little bit. Um, and I know you, uh, Paul wrote them as if they were his sort of dying letters. Like he, he didn't know if he was going to make it out of prison. So I think, do you think that helps from a devotional point of view? sort of give more of an impact on those subjects? Mm, I think it does. Um, he, he does say that, you know, he, whether he lives or whether he dies, he hopes that, you know, these words will yeah. encourage the church. So th there, was, there was an element of not knowing um, his fate, as yeah. it were. And he was even saying, you know, it's, it's better for me to die. <laughs> I would much rather die than yeah, live, then... but, but because it'll benefit you, you know, yeah. I think I'm going to live in this instance. Um, and it turns out that he does live. But I think it does add that, that weight, doesn't it? Yeah. When, when you think 
that what you're saying to your friends, what you're saying to a church you, you planted and you love, yeah. um, this could be the last thing that, that you ever say yeah. to them. What would you say? And if it was me, you'd want to make it a good one. Yeah. <laughs> you'd, you'd want to say... So tell us a little bit about yourself and your background, how you got into writing, where it all came from, a little bit of your journey. <laughs> well, I was born in Zimbabwe and I lived there for a lot of my life. Um, I went to university in South Africa. Uh -huh. Um, and then the situation in Zimbabwe got quite bad um, when I was just starting out, um, sort of out of university, finding a job, that kind of thing. And it became apparent that I couldn't stay. Yeah. Um, so my grandfather was born in the UK, so I immigrated. Ah. Got a had job you been here, here before? Had you... I had. I'd been here for a year. I had a year out between um, finishing school and starting university yeah. and I came here for a year. So I kind of knew what I was coming to and yeah. I had a bank account already and all oh, that perfect. kind of stuff. So, so that, that helped. Yeah. And for me as well, speaking the language definitely is yeah, a must. Yeah, it's got to be it. Yeah. And um, I'm a teacher by tr trade. That's what I trained to do. Um, so speaking the language was really important. Yeah. Um, so I came here, started off with a teaching job. Um, but for all my life, I've, I've had a strong call to ministry and I've been involved in church in one way or another, mostly music for yeah. a long while. Um, I've got songs on Spotify and all the rest that people can listen to oh, that are out there. Um, but it's more recently, really. In 2016, um, I got, had cancer, stage four, non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Oh, wow. And so I went through quite a challenging time there, yeah. reassessed lots of things in my life um, by God's grace I pulled through yeah, that's amazing. and wrote a book about it ah. <laughs> <laughs> God, God taught me so much I was writing a blog at the time and that reached tens of thousands of people hundreds of thousands of people um, around the world and I just felt at the end of coming out the other side God saying you know I'm not finished with that story yet yeah so I knew that I, a book was going to come out of it, <laughs> um, but I was still teaching and it was quite difficult. Um, but then an opportunity came where I felt it was the right time to, to leave teaching. So I, I left teaching some years ago now um, and now I do, well, I say full-time ministry. I do all sorts of little bits and pieces, yeah. um, mostly working for the church, um, writing books and music mostly. I do other bits as well. Yeah. Um, but so I find my teaching skills coming out, sort of especially yeah. writing devotional books, that kind of thing as well, um, helping to make tricky concepts more relatable and easier to understand, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, so wrote my my memoir about that time in my life that came out um, earlier on this year, and yeah, I just keep getting more ideas and all oh, that will make a good book. Oh yeah, <laughs> that will be good, and so it's just choosing which ones to pursue and yeah. which ones not to pursue and and then just sort of seeing where where that takes me so so that's how I got it was more accidental getting yeah. into writing really than than a sort of a, a lifelong dream or yeah ambition. it's just meant to be it's just started <laughs> happening and doors have been opening and so it's been fantastic oh, so is your sort of aim do you want to keep sort of half ministry half author what's your sort of aims for the future yeah I think I think keeping a mix is is quite healthy um I love my church, and yeah. so I yeah, definitely want to keep um, involved there. I'm, I'm one of the leaders there now, so that's that's really good. And yeah, still writing books um, and and music, but I've discovered with with the amount of hours in the day, I can't do both <laughs> writing books and producing writing music. So you got to choose one at a time. <laughs> so it's, 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 it's one at a time. Yeah. So so music's taken a back seat this year while I focus more on books. <laughs> Um, and then there might come a time where the books take a, a little bit of a and break while I focus some more music and sort of swing between the two. But we'll see. We'll see where that goes. At the moment, it's all about the books. Yeah. Um, but there's loads of great music out there as well. So, yeah. Lovely. Well, thank you so much for joining me today. It's oh, been really great. Thank you for having great. me. We're very excited about the new book. Um, you can order it from kevinmayhew.com, um, from your Christian bookshop, from all online retailers. It'll be on Amazon. Um Anywhere you can get your hands on a book, pretty much, you can uh, get your hands on the prison letters. Yeah. Um, 
And there's also an audio book. So if you don't want to read it, you just want to listen. Um, Matt's recorded the audio book with his beautiful voice. Um, so you can listen to that instead. There's lots of other material um, as well, which Matt does mention in the book, if you want to do further reading um, and take it further. Um, and I think uh, you're quite active on things like social media and things, aren't yeah. you? So, you know, I'm sure, ask Matt a question. I'm sure he'd be happy to. <laughs> I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so kevinmayhew.com, please don't forget to get your hands on a copy um, for this Lent. And thank you again so much for joining me, Matt. Oh, thank you.